Today we delve into the poignant tale of Mary Catherine Hayden, a bright soul born in 1994. Her laughter echoed through the halls of her childhood, a testament to her vivacity and humor. With a pet frog in tow, she roamed the streets, a symbol of her deep connection to nature. Her days were filled with exploration, a symphony of chirping birds and rustling leaves, her constant companion. Mary's spirit was not confined to the wilderness. She was a performer at heart. With each play she staged, she wove tales that enraptured her audience, leaving them spellbound in her wake. Yet, amidst her laughter and creativity, there lay a hidden passion, a love for firearms. Mary, with reverence, learned the art of marksmanship, embracing the power and responsibility it bestowed upon her. In the tapestry of fate, Mary's thread intertwined with Stephen Freeman's, a kindred spirit born on January 1, 1995. Raised in the embrace of a loving family, Stephen's warmth radiated through every gesture. His affinity for nature mirrored Mary's, a shared sanctuary where they found solace. However, it was Stephen's bond with his mother that illuminated his character. In a heartfelt letter, he laid bare his admiration, a testament to the love that bound them. Their meeting in high school marked the genesis of a love story, one painted with the hues of devotion and admiration. But as fate would have it, their journey would take an unexpected turn, shrouded in mystery and sorrow. Mary Catherine and Stephen forged a bond as deep as the roots of the ancient oaks they cherished. Their shared love for the wilderness, whether it be hiking, camping, or casting lines into tranquil waters, became the cornerstone of their relationship. With high school diplomas in hand, they embarked on the journey of adulthood, choosing to intertwine their lives beneath the same roof in Griffin, Georgia. In the warmth of Stephen's family home, Mary Catherine found not just acceptance, but familial embrace. Sunday dinners became sacred rituals, weaving threads of love and belonging. Stephen's friends, once cautious observers, melted under Mary Catherine's infectious laughter, recognizing in her the happiness she brought to their dear friend. Stephen toiled under the sun, a metal worker repairing roofs, while Mary Catherine nurtured young minds as a teacher's assistant. Yet it was in the aisles of the sporting goods store where fate's hand played its cruelest card. There amidst gleaming firearms, Mary Catherine found herself entwined in the web of destiny, brushing shoulders with Thomas Skinner, Stephen's trusted confidant. As Mary Catherine learned the intricacies of gun safety, Stephen's passion for firearms burned bright. His collection, a testament to his skill and reverence, stood as guardians in their humble abode. But the tranquility of their shared existence shattered one fateful summer night in 2018. On August 1st, the air hung heavy with foreboding, as Mary Catherine's frantic voice pierced the silence, a chilling echo in the night. The words tumbled out, a torrent of fear and confusion, as she uttered those haunting words to the 911 dispatcher. I accidentally just shot my... The line fell silent, a harrowing cliffhanger in the tale of two souls bound by love and tragedy. As the siren's wail pierced the night, a swarm of blue descended upon Mary Catherine and Stephen's sanctuary. In the shadowed confines of their apartment, a tableau of despair unfolded. Mary Catherine, a tempest of grief, knelt beside Stephen's motionless form, her anguished cries tearing through the silence. I cannot lose him, she pleaded, her voice a fractured melody of sorrow and desperation. The officers, their hearts heavy with empathy, gently led Mary Catherine away from the scene of tragedy. With trembling hands, they examined Stephen's prone figure, a grim reminder of mortality's cruel touch. A bullet had found its mark, nestled within his chest, yet life still clung to him, fragile and fleeting. In a flurry of urgency, they whisked him away to the sterile embrace of the emergency room. But even the skilled hands of medicine faltered in the face of fate's decree. Despite their valiant efforts, Stephen slipped away, leaving behind a void that echoed with the weight of unrealized dreams. Amidst the harsh glare of interrogation room lights, Mary Catherine's tale unfolded, a tapestry woven with threads of guilt and confusion. At first, her words stumbled, a desperate attempt to make sense of the incomprehensible. But as the hours stretched on, her story shifted, morphing into a twisted narrative of anger and despair. The officers, seasoned guardians of truth, detected the faint scent of alcohol clinging to her breath, a damning revelation amidst the chaos. 
Her account, once a fragile facade, crumbled under the weight of their scrutiny. The truth, elusive yet undeniable, lay hidden within the tangled web of her deceit. I did it out of anger, she confessed, her voice hollow with remorse. Yet amidst the labyrinth of lies, a crucial piece remained elusive. The recording, tainted by static, offered no solace, leaving the officers grasping at shadows. And yet in the silence that followed, a chilling certainty settled over them, a conviction born not of words, but of the damning silence that spoke volumes. The investigation, a dance between truth and deception, bore witness to the unraveling of a soul laid bare by tragedy, and as the pieces fell into place, the truth emerged, a bitter pill swallowed by the weight of justice. The grim truth lay bare amidst the shattered remnants of Mary Catherine and Stephen's once promising love story. As investigators combed through the debris of their shattered dreams, a chilling narrative emerged, a tale of simmering resentment and violent outbursts. In the heart of their shared sanctuary, traces of turmoil littered the scene, a grim tableau of domestic discord. The remnants of a heated argument hung heavy in the air, the stench of betrayal mingling with the acrid scent of cooking grease. Five times had the authorities been summoned to their doorstep, bearers of peace amidst the storm of their tumultuous relationship. Each visit, a harbinger of the darkness lurking beneath the facade of love. And yet, amidst the chaos, a sinister revelation emerged, a loaded gun, its deadly intent hidden beneath a veneer of innocence. Traces of grease, a damning testament to Mary Catherine's premeditated actions, shattered the illusion of a tragic accident. As the web of deceit unraveled, Stephen's friends emerged as reluctant witnesses to the unraveling of their friend's life. Behind closed doors, toxicity festered, poisoning the once golden promise of their union. Mary Catherine's possessive grip tightened, her words a venomous dagger aimed at Stephen's heart. But amidst the shadows, a glimmer of truth emerged, a desperate plea for help, buried beneath layers of fear and denial. Three times had Mary Catherine brandished her weapon, a silent threat that Stephen bore in silence, his love blinding him to the danger that lurked within her grasp. And yet, even in the face of imminent peril, Stephen's concern remained steadfast, a testament to the depth of his love, even as it led him down the path to his untimely demise. As the truth unfurled like a withered rose, the echoes of Stephen's final moments reverberated through the silence, a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurks within the human heart. And amidst the wreckage of their shattered dreams, justice stood vigilant a beacon of hope in the face of unspeakable tragedy, consumed by a gnawing fear, a specter of dread, that haunted his every waking moment. The look in Mary Catherine's eyes, a chilling harbinger of impending doom, left him trembling with an unnamed terror. As July 2018 unfolded its sweltering embrace, Stephen found himself ensnared in the suffocating grip of despair. Seven years of tumultuous love had taken its toll, leaving him weary and worn. The weight of Mary Catherine's toxicity bore down upon him, a burden too heavy to bear. In the quiet solitude of his thoughts, Stephen crafted a plan, a desperate bid for freedom from the shackles of his torment. With resolve hardened by years of silent suffering, he resolved to vanish into the night, leaving behind the tumultuous storm of his relationship. But fate, ever cruel, had other plans in store. Text messages, innocuous in their innocence, painted a facade of normalcy amidst the chaos. Yet beneath the surface, a tempest raged, a storm of resentment and unspoken fears. July 31st, a night marked by silence, a poignant reminder of the chasm that had grown between them. As Stephen sought solace in the embrace of a friend, Mary Catherine's fury simmered, a volatile concoction of anger and desperation. August 1st dawned with the promise of confrontation, a reckoning long overdue. Mary Catherine, consumed by rage, pursued Stephen with relentless determination, her resolve unyielding in the face of his pleas for peace. Yet amidst the chaos, a glimmer of truth emerged, a confession born of desperation and despair. Mary Catherine, her voice trembling with the weight of guilt, admitted to wielding her pain as a weapon a silent threat that bound Stephen to her side, even as it drove him to the brink of despair. And as Stephen's mother reflected on her son's tragic fate, a single truth emerged, a love twisted by fear and manipulation. 
a tragic dance that ended in unspeakable sorrow. Twisted narrative of love and betrayal, a saga shrouded in darkness and deceit. As the trial unfolded, the courtroom became a theater of conflicting truths, where the line between victim and perpetrator blurred with each damning revelation. Mary Catherine, her voice trembling with the weight of her confession, painted a portrait of terror, a tale of abuse and violence hidden behind closed doors. With trembling hands, she recounted the horrors she endured, each word a painful reminder of the scars that marred her soul. Yet amidst the sea of accusations, Stephen's friends emerged as reluctant witnesses to a different reality, a reality where Mary Catherine's hands were stained with blood, not from self-defense, but from a calculated act of violence. Their testimony, a damning indictment of Mary Catherine's character, painted a portrait of a woman consumed by rage and jealousy, a woman capable of inflicting pain as easily as she shed tears. But amidst the cacophony of conflicting voices, one truth remained elusive. The truth of what truly transpired on that fateful night. Was it a desperate bid for freedom or a calculated act of vengeance? As the jury deliberated, the weight of Stephen's absence hung heavy in the air, a silent reminder of the life cut short by a bullet fired in the heat of passion. And as Mary Catherine's fate hung in the balance, the courtroom became a battleground of emotions, a crucible where justice and mercy collided in a final desperate plea for redemption. Consensual at first, but Stephen's demeanor shifted, his actions becoming increasingly aggressive and coercive. In her tearful testimony, Mary Catherine recounted the harrowing details of the assault her voice trembling with the weight of her trauma. The courtroom fell silent as Mary Catherine's words hung heavy in the air, a stark reminder of the darkness that lurked beneath the veneer of their relationship. Her defense team, armed with evidence and testimony, sought to paint a picture of a woman driven to desperate measures by the relentless cycle of abuse and manipulation. Yet, amidst the turmoil of the trial, a glimmer of hope emerged, a hope that justice would prevail and Mary Catherine would find the redemption she so desperately sought. As the jury deliberated, the eyes of the nation turned to the courtroom, awaiting the verdict that would seal Mary Catherine's fate. And as the final gavel fell, a hush fell over the crowd, a silent acknowledgement of the tragedy that had unfolded within those walls. In the end, amidst the ashes of shattered dreams and broken promises, one truth remained clear. Mary Catherine's story was not just one of survival, but of courage, resilience, and the unwavering pursuit of justice in the face of unimaginable adversity. Of text messages between the couple seemed to contradict Mary Catherine's portrayal of Stephen as solely abusive. Among the messages presented to the court were expressions of affection and plans for the future, seemingly at odds with Mary Catherine's narrative of unrelenting abuse. The defense countered these claims, arguing that the intermittent moments of tenderness were part of a cycle of abuse a calculated effort on Stephen's part to maintain control over Mary Catherine. They emphasized the insidious nature of abuse, highlighting how perpetrators often switch between charm and cruelty to keep their victims trapped in a cycle of fear and manipulation. As the courtroom braced for the final act in this tragic saga, the echoes of conflicting truths reverberated through the air. The jury, tasked with untangling the web of lies and half-truths, grappled with the weight of their decision a decision that would shape the course of Mary Catherine's life. And as the curtain fell on the trial, leaving behind a trail of shattered lives and broken dreams, one question remained unanswered. Where did the truth lie in the tangled labyrinth of love and betrayal? Only time would reveal the answer, as the echoes of Mary Catherine and Stephen's tumultuous relationship linger it in the recesses of memory, a haunting reminder of the fragility of human connection. The courtroom fell into a stunned silence as the verdict was delivered, a verdict that defied expectations and left hearts heavy with disbelief. For Mary Catherine, the weight of the world lifted momentarily as the words not guilty echoed through the room, granting her a reprieve from the specter of incarceration. Yet, amidst the relief, a bitter truth lingered, a truth that gnawed at the edges of justice and left a bitter taste in the mouths of those who had sought closure. Stephen's loved ones, their hearts heavy with grief, grappled with the incomprehensible reality of his untimely demise. The jury's decision, while legally binding, left a lingering sense of unease, a nagging doubt that justice had been truly served. Behind closed doors, whispers of doubt and suspicion lingered, casting a shadow over the solemn proceedings. 
In the aftermath of the trial, questions lingered unanswered, wounds left raw and unhealed. The truth, elusive and intangible, remained shrouded in the mists of uncertainty, a haunting reminder of the complexities of human nature. As Mary Catherine walked free, the echoes of Stephen's final moments reverberated through the corridors of memory, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring quest for truth and justice in its wake. And amidst the silence that followed, one question remained unanswered. Where did the truth lie in the tangled web of love and betrayal? Only time would tell, as the echoes of Mary Catherine and Stephen's tumultuous relationship lingered in the recesses of memory, a poignant reminder of the complexities of human emotion and the enduring quest for justice.